Have I ever gotten a knock on my car while I've been sleeping in it? Yes. In Washington State, for a while during COVID, they weren't kicking you out of parks after like hours. You kind of knew you could stay there and sleep there if you needed to. So I had found this beautiful park on the third night of sleeping in the car at this particular park. I did get a knock. On the first two nights, I got there well later than when the park closed. I had gotten there this night. On the third night, I'd gotten there right as the park closed. There were a lot of cars leaving and heading out. And there were still a few here stragglers. I always check my surroundings to make sure that it's, it feels safe. And I, go, I use a lot of instinct. Everything felt fine. Get everything set up and I get in the car. I sleep in the the passenger in the back passenger side in the back i have a mattress roll that rolls out and it's very comfortable somewhere during the pandemic i gained the ability to just fall asleep almost immediately and so i whoop, whoop, shh, out i hear on this window and i'm like oh god And my first instinct was, pretend you're not home. (laughs) How? That's not going to work. I will pretend that I am a big, strong man. And so I went, who is it? (laughs) Who do I think I am? Who is it? Like, that's just, oh, a man is in the car. I'd better scurry off. And then there's nothing, which which should have been an alarm. Like, bing, 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 bing. That's, oh, oh, they've. They've, they've gotten quiet. It's probably not the police then. Uh, what do I do? Fall immediately back to sleep. I'm like, ah, trouble's over. <sighs> and I was fully back to the night time. And I hear a knock, except this time on the window where my face is. And that's when I remembered I don't have access to my pepper spray or my taser. If they wanted to murder me, they could smash the window and murder me. And so I was like, oh, what do I do? And I go, who is it? And they go, um, were you who I was talking to earlier on the internet? And the answer to that question when asked after being knocked on your window of the car you're sleeping in is always no. If some stranger knocks upon your window, your answer is no. And so my answer was no. And the response was, oh, sorry. And then they left. And all I can imagine is who the fuck was that guy talking to on the internet? Like, that's the thing is I, I was indeed speaking to people on the internet earlier in the day and, and, and they were strangers. It was on a dating app just for, just for, just to clarify, I do not want to date on a dating app. Anyway, so I had indeed uh, spoken to some people earlier in the evening, but at no point was I like, hey, come on over for the for a quickie in the Prius. If, if you lay real flat, you might be able to get it in. No, I've never. Way to go if you're getting laid in these cars, but this, this, is, not a, this is not a come by and hang out kind of situation. I just, who... Who was, who did he talk to that was so smooth that was like, hey, come, oh, wait, never mind. I get it. It's like a men, 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 you'll do that. You'll just, you'll meet up in a park. I can only assume he was cruising and just, and looking for a date, but his approach was a very kind and quiet and not, not nearly as scary as if he had been there to murder me or the police. So that's the story.